Hi, this is the tutorial for the bloomers for Crazy For You. Hope that it all makes sense. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and talk to me or to Mrs. Smith about it and hopefully it'll all work out. So this is your piece of fabric that you should have been given with your pattern. The ruffles go two different ways. This is the correct way. Don't fold your fabric the wrong way. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll end up with ruffles going different directions. So the easiest way to remember is that the ruffle needs to cover the thicker part of the fabric so that the uh, more sheer part is kind of showing underneath. Just fold your fabric just enough to fit one front or back piece. Make sure that you've got it all nice and flat. And then you're going to grab your pattern Make sure that you've got the fold on the fold. Now you can see there's a little bit extra on this side and I want to conserve as much of the fabric as I can because uh, we need to get a lot of bloomers done. So I'll just pull it over a little bit. And you're going to pin it down. Just try to make sure that your ruffles are as flat as they can be on the inside. Now, um, on, the, on the pattern, you'll notice that on this side, I've written allow 5 eighths of a seam. That is for if you don't have an overlocker machine or a serger. Uh, if you're just going to sew it on a regular sewing machine, you need to allow an extra 5 eighths on your, on your sides. If you're doing it on your sewing machine, do it on a zigzag stitch so that there's still some give and stretch in the fabric as um, they put it on. Otherwise, if you've got an overlocker or serger, then you just need to cut it along the lines that I've, that I've made here for the pattern. And you're just going to cut it out. Okay, so I've got one piece cut out, my front piece here. Now I'm going to cut out the back piece. Now, if you'll recall, I, I uh, mentioned before that you need to make sure that your ruffles are going the correct way when you lay it down. So if any of you are sewers or have sewn before, um, you probably adjust your fabric uh, so that you get the most out of the fabric. But unfortunately with this fabric, we can't conserve too much that way. So you just need to fold it over again and you can just kind of pick it up and, and shake it a little bit and that'll help the, the ruffles fall down to where they should be. Uh, <clears throat> this one I think I'm gonna have to pull across a little bit more because I need to put my, my pattern uh, like this. Don't turn it like this. Um, even if you swap the fabric over, um, you still are going to need to make sure that you're cutting it out so the ruffles fall the right direction. Make sure that you've got your fold on the fold and then pin down again. And again, if you're using just a sewing machine, you need to remember to allow that extra 5 eighths on each seam. And if you're using an overlocker or a serger, then again, just cut straight through onto the pattern lines. All right, now this is the uh, satin fabric for the bumbo, and this is your pattern for the bumbo. Now you'll notice here, again, it has a fold. So you need to make sure that you have your fold here, line it up on the fold, and then you're going to pin it down. Now with this one, you do need to cut two pieces on the fold. So with the way that my fabric is folded right now, this is just one piece. So then I'm just going to cut around the edge. Okay, so I've cut out my first one, and then I'm going to cut out a second one. And with this fabric, it doesn't matter so much um, which way the bias is going. And then you're going to cut that out as well. All right, now for the little notch for the bow on the bum, all you're going to do is just cut uh, about a four inch piece of fabric by about two inches. And you don't have to be too precise on this. You just need to cut out a piece about like this. All right, so this is where we're going to piece the, the patterns together. And what you're going to want to do is you want to take your back piece first and take it off of, and take the pattern off of it. And you're going to want to mark your back piece somehow. You can either do a quick little uh, red X stitch on it or um, mark it with a, an erasable sewing pencil or somehow, or uh, I just find it easy to just grab an extra pin 
and just put a little pin in the waist part so that I remember which is the back piece. And then we're going to take the front piece and you're going to just lay it straight on top. Make sure that you've got uh, the side to the side, fabric, front side of the fabric together. And as you piece them together, lift it up a little bit and give it a shake so that those ruffles will come out because you don't want to sew it up and then have ruffles facing different directions. Then it won't lie nicely on their leg. So just kind of give it a little bit of a shake like this. I'm just doing it on my lap, but you can do it on a table or however uh, it makes it easiest for you. Um, then you're just going to pin it together. I'm sewing it on my overlocker, my serger. So I'm pinning it just a little bit further away so that my blade doesn't catch the pins. And if you can feel any of those ruffles kind of coming out of place, just give it another little shake. Now the best way to, to sew it is to, again, sew it with the ruffles going down the right direction so that as you're sewing, if you're sewing it up like this, sometimes things will catch in there and it'll pull the ruffles up. So if you just, like me, I just pinned it on the front like that way, so I just will sew it kind of upside down like this. And then I'm just going to sew along the edge because I've already allowed for that extra bit. Once I've done that, then I can take the pins out. Just remember again, if you're doing it on a sewing machine, do it on a zigzag stitch, allowing that extra 5 eighths of an inch to do it. And also uh, double up your stitches. So run the machine down once with the zigzag and then run it down twice just to give it that little uh, extra strength. But the zigzag stitch will allow that extra give in the fabric. Then you're going to sew the other side the same way. So now that we've sewn up both sides, we're going to sew the crotch. So again, just pick it up and shake it out to make sure that those ruffles are down. And then you're going to just pin the sides together. And again, if you feel any of those ruffles escaping, then you can just pick up the fabric again, give it another bit of a shake. And then what you're going to do is just sew along the edge of this. Now, as you come up to this little notch here in the corner, um, if you're on a, a serger, an overlocker, then just kind of gently make it uh, line up with your edge. Don't worry about it being a little diagonal or, or anything like that. Just make sure that you are sewing all the fabric so they don't have, end up having a little hole in their crotch. And if you do happen to miss a spot on the fabric uh, where it kind of got away from you or anything, that's fine. Just gently again uh, pull on it a little bit, line it back up on your machine and just continue on where that little hole is. And then you can flip them right side. Give them a little bit of a shake. Keep your uh, pin in the back. In the, in the little back side if that's where it is. Alright, now when you lay it down and you can see that some of these are hanging out a little bit, make sure, you do want to make sure that that's lined up. If it's not, you can go ahead and trim it just a little bit so that it matches the other side so that there's nothing hanging off extra. And then you'll have a nice even leg.